How to crochet the tipsy cluster stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Spot, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Bare Naked Wools line in the color Oatmeal. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of 12 plus 4. Now to begin this pattern, we're going to do a prep row. So we'll start with a single crochet into the second chain stitch from our hook. Then we'll do one single crochet into each chain across our foundation row. After we've turned our work, we'll begin row one, and we will start by chaining three. Okay, and that's going to count as our first double crochet. Then we'll skip the first single crochet right here, and we'll do one double crochet into each of the next three single crochets. So we're one. Whoops. Two. And three. All right, then we will start our repeat by skipping the next two single crochets. It's these right here. And then we will do five double crochets into the next stitch. So we'll skip and go into the third. And this is going to create a shell. So I accidentally got caught in between the stitch there. And that's what I was doing. All right, that's three so far. All right, so next we're going to skip the next four single crochets and we will do a chain two. So we chain one and two. Okay, and as we skip these four, here, one, two, three, four, we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. There's four. And five. All right, so we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last four stitches in our row. So on our last repeat here, we'll skip our four stitches and for the last we'll only have four stitches left so instead of doing five double crochets we're only going to do four so and for this last one that I'm going to do we're going to go into our chain stitch from the beginning of the row, previous row. Okay, then we're going to turn our work. Row two, we're going to begin by chaining three. 
and this will count as our first double crochet. Then we'll skip the first double crochet here, and we'll do one double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. Okay, then we'll start our repeat by skipping the next two chain space and we'll do five double crochets into the next double crochet. So this first one here in our shell, we're going to do five double crochets right into that stitch. Okay, and that's five. Then we'll continue our repeat by doing a chain two. And then we are going to skip the next four double crochets in our shell. And we'll do one double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. So these right here. Alright, and we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last repeat of our row. Alright, for our last repeat, we're going to do three double crochets, one in each of the last three double crochets here, rather than five. And then we will do one more double crochet into the top chain of our turn chain from the previous row. Okay, then we'll turn our work. So we're going to repeat row two only until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you crochet the tipsy cluster stitch. What more new stitch today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.